So I bought a bunch of linear bearings for my 3D printer and these are the cheap Chinese kind and coming from the factory they have a bunch of uh, just really thick petroleum protectant on it which really gums everything up. Before these bearings you see how the bearings kind of stay still and roll before they weren't and this, this was really dragging so you couldn't, you couldn't even do this with it. This is one I've completely disassembled and cleaned out and adjusted. But this one, this guide here is really warped and all the bearings just fall out of this when you take it off the guide. So I'm going to take this apart and clean it up. Um, highly recommend you have something like a tub, a, a, a big storage tub or a magnetic tool holder like this. This is magnetic so it'll hold them and they're just kept together with two screws on each end. Take as many of these ball bearings out that you can. It's a major pain to find these when they fall on the floor. Take the tip of the razor, pry the end of the guide out, and then carefully pry that out. Do the same for the other side. Then pry the green plastic pieces off. Look down these two holes, make sure there's no ball bearings in it. This is a solution of water and isopropyl alcohol, probably 25% isopropyl alcohol, and this will just completely break down that uh, factory protectant on it. I put all the parts in here. just to get the uh, junk off it. So I have a completely clean bearing rather than a big greasy mess on my hands. See what's weird is I don't think these guides were seated correctly in the ends here and that's why they're bowed out like that because here they're, they're not bowed. You see that they're straight so I don't think they were assembled correctly at the factory. After a couple minutes of soaking and getting the grease off, you can take a, a microfiber cloth and go over it and now you have a nice grease-free bearing. Do that for the other parts. Then uh, reassembling everything. Making sure there's no water left in these holes. So I think the reason why this thing is bowing out so much compared to another one See how this one is pretty much straight and this one's bowed out and that allows your ball bearings to fall out pretty much at will is because there's a bunch of excess plastic like right here I don't think it got trimmed out at the at the factory so I'll take these back out tiny little piece of plastic right here is what's causing that little guide to stick up and both sides were sticking up. There's a lot of excess plastic right there, so I'm going to file this down a tiny bit. Same thing on this side, just file the extra plastic left over from the casting. Just a few swipes with the diamond file and these little remnants come off. There, now I got it back together. I filed these little tabs down right here. Just left over from the molding process and this isn't bowed out as much. So I'm going to put the uh, bearings back in. Probably the easiest way to put these bearings in is to pick them up with your fingers, put them in behind the guard and then just take your fingernail and pop them in and then push them to the side. Should be 33 bearings per side. If you lose one, you're kind of screwed. Don't bind up. They go both directions without binding. Put the uh, sweep seals back on. And don't tighten these screws down all the way until you have it on the rail because these seals are supposed to float on the rail 
and if they, you tighten them down then they may get crunched and rub on the rail and hang things up and carefully slide the rail in there because this is when the bearings can pop out these are rubber coated metal that acts as a sweep on your rails to sweep any dust and debris off the rails while they slide Then tighten down this side and then tighten down this side you see how the the seal kind of moves around and you want it kind of floating on the rail you don't want it binding or anything so that's why you don't tighten these screws down beforehand this is with no lubrication on it this is the one that was really binding up so that's a good sign and once I tighten these screws up it seemed to really align everything in the uh, in the bearings and so I use uh, slick 50 this is way more viscous than uh, like WD-40 this is an oil and not a penetrating uh, lubricant type of thing like WD-40 so I just spray it into a cup and then take a clean uh, q-tip and carefully go over the bearings and wipe off any excess lubrication so that's how easy it is for these to slide now once you clean them up so here's one that hasn't been cleaned and this is factory gunk all over it and I mean it'll slide but it's not like the clean ones so you see there's a lot of drag on here because this hasn't been cleaned and hasn't been uh, lubricated so this is how you can fix your cheap Chinese linear bearings to make sure that they run smooth